Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a short video and it's about what I'm using uh, some of my spent brass casings for. Um, I know a lot of people hang on to their brass casings and use them for reloading but personally I don't really have the time for reloading. I'm only really getting into rifle shooting as it is um, so maybe on down the line if we get into it a bit more and continue with it I'll consider reloading my own rounds. Uh, I know a lot of people use it to save money and to adjust uh, rounds to meet their own needs but uh, as I say at the minute I don't really have the time and uh, in terms of saving money I don't really do enough rifle shooting to take up the expense of reloading as well I could, it's much easier just going and buy some uh, brand new rounds just from you know, factory made so basically I've been making these 223 rounds into uh, key rings and it's very very simple so I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it here I've also been trying to think of a way I could uh, recycle or upcycle even uh, these spent shotgun cartridges. So um, in the recent past I've just trimmed all the plastic of it and you're left with a nice brass there. Uh, that one's not in the, the greatest of nick. Um, but I've made other key rings at the, of, like, of these as well but they haven't actually turned out as nice as the, the 223 rounds. What it did do however was make some magnets and uh, as you can see it's just basically a magnet stuck on um, the only thing is these aren't really very strong so you can't use them to hang up notes or, or things like that um, luckily enough I've got two to hold this badge up uh, I've been using um, these um, these magnets here there's a magnetic tape which you can cut the size and magnetic discs that I got from a local craft shop however as I said the magnets aren't very strong so I'm going to have to look elsewhere and see if I can get some stronger ones and maybe upgrade my magnets a wee bit or make some more but maybe that's for another video these are some uh, key ring split rings that I bought off uh, wish.com and uh, it's a great website that sells absolutely everything to be honest and uh, the only thing is it, it comes from China so you have to be prepared to wait around four to six weeks maybe more at times for for the shipment although saying that I've had things that's arrived a lot sooner than that but uh, obviously I'm a big advocate for small businesses and supporting them where possible however there's just things that you can't really buy locally that easily and uh, you know it's very handy just to get things off the app so this is the, the larger key ring I think these are 25 mil in diameter with a small chain attached and then also this uh, these types of split rings here so it's handy that they're actually you know parted already and that makes crafting things a lot easier a lot less time consuming okay so the next thing is just to flatten this end uh, I've tried leaving it open leaving the end open and trying to drill in through inside it but it's actually very difficult to do and I've broke a couple of uh, drill bits trying to do it and it, it kind of the drill bit kind of moves about so it's really not very easy to do um, so what I do is just again very very straightforward just uh, put the round in the vise and just close the top end with a bit of pressure again you don't need to put too much in it um, it's only a really thin brass casing after all so that's it nice and flat and that'll give us a, a great surface just to drill into to attach the split ring okay so the next job to do is uh, to drill a hole into the flat end uh, when I was crimping the end here I should have said that uh, you don't need to go too far down the round casing or like you just need to go to around there where it starts to taper anymore and it will completely distort the main body of the casing and it'll make it look a bit weird uh, of course notice through trial and error and I've had to throw a couple out so again I'm just going to drill into this flat end I just tend to check that it doesn't uh, leave a bit of a raggedy edge just on the, the other side of the hole there where it drilled uh, but this one seems to be okay you just don't want to catch it on clothing or even skin if you give it to someone so again very simply uh, I'm just going to take this um, split ring here and just feed the um, the small chain with the, the bigger key ring through it 
and then you just feed that through the hole that you just drilled and then of course you can just close it up with a pair of pliers or you can do it in the vise or whatever way is easiest for yourself doesn't require much force so there we have it um, I know some people will probably be dead against this uh, people that are definitely into reloading and stuff but that's a really quick and easy way to turn uh, some of your spent brass into a, a quick uh, key ring so thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe